now I will have a series of technical questions. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's start. So the first question is basically from your uh, newsletter, which I basically read your Substack. So in one of your Substack, let us just discuss about Gamma scalping. So if you can just give a brief overview of what is Gamma scalping and how it works basically. Yeah. The, the best way to do this is to just do a demonstration. And that is you can, we can just imagine, uh, let's say you buy in a U.S. stock. So hundred, hundred multiplier underlying, you say you buy a hundred at the money call. So let's say the stock is $50. You buy 100 of the 50 calls and, uh, and the Delta of those calls is 50.5, meaning that if the stock goes up a dollar, that option, uh, goes up by 50 cents in value. Now we know a deep in the money option is a hundred Delta. So there's some glide path by which the stock is traveling from 50 Delta to a hundred Delta as the stock goes higher. If the stock was a hundred dollars, that would be a 100 Delta call. It would act just like a stock. So let's say that the stock goes up a dollar and the Delta of that option goes from point five, let's just say from 0.5 to 0.6. So what happened is you started delta neutral you were long 100 calls and you were short 5000 shares of the stock you have no exp you're market neutral delta neutral when the stock by the time the stock has finished making its move you are now long 160 delta calls and you're still short 5000 shares so your net delta is 1000 deltas you're long 6000 deltas in the calls the equivalent of 6000 shares and you're short 5000 shares so you are now long 1000 shares equivalent of stock uh, meaning that if you're long 1,000 shares equivalent, that means if the stock goes up a dollar, you make a dollar times a thousand, you make a thousand bucks, and if the stock goes down a dollar, you would lose a thousand dollars. You are not trying to have a directional opinion on the stock. You are trying to be market neutral. So what happens is you will go out and you will sell your thousand shares and reestablish a delta neutral position. What will happen is you are now long 6,000 deltas through the calls, 160 delta calls, and you are now short 6,000 shares of the stock. So you are once again, you are delta neutral. Now, if you imagine this, if the stock goes up again, you'll sell it again. You'll have to sell, you'll have more shares to sell. Your delta will increase. If the stock falls back to 50, you will now be, uh, you'll be short 6,000 shares and your calls will go back to being 50 delta. So you will now be long the equivalent of 5,000 shares. So you get to buy your thousand shares back to establish being delta neutral once again. So you have, here we say we've you've scalped um, a thousand shares one dollar. So you made a dollar of profit because you were trying to stay market neutral. That's what. So the fact that your delta increased as the stock went up that was gamma. So gamma is the change in delta per change in stock. And by continuously rebalancing to be delta neutral, this is what people call that. They call it gamma scalping. Uh, by rebalancing and essentially you're hedging, um, you are going back to market neutral. And in that process, you are, if you are long options, you are always selling high and buying low and you end up with this profit. Of course, the profit is offset by the fact that the options decay, you're, you have theta. So you have a push and pull here where you, every time the stock moves, you're able to make some money. And, and if the stock stays still, you just decay. Uh, well, you're decaying either way. It's just how much money are you going to make scalping the gamma. Now, that is, uh, that's what gamma scalping is. And the reason people gamma scalp is uh, people think it's because that's how you make money, but that's actually not, it's actually not true. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a confusion. That's actually not the true reality because if you never got gamma scalped, it does not mean that you would not make money being long the options. It just means that because when you gamma scalp, like we'll take this example, if the stock had went up two dollars and you sold a thousand shares up a dollar, it's true that you gamma like like you would have been better off to never have sold a thousand shares. To basically never have gamma scalped. In other words, if you just let your delta ride, your gamma ride, you would have made more money. What gamma scalping does is it doesn't monetize, or it's not the you probably don't want to think about it that way. What it's doing is it's just hedging. You are reducing your risk because remember you are, you are a market neutral player. So you don't want to have outsized directional positions. So you're trying to minimize them. So regardless of whether you gamma scalp or not, 
that's not any kind of source of profit. What that is, all it's doing is it's shape, changing the shape of your P&L. It is reducing your P&L variance. If you had an infinite bankroll, you could just not gamma scale. And if you were buying options low and selling options expensive, you would make money over time, whether or not you ever hedged a, a single share. It would still work. You would just make all your money on these really large moves. So what's happening here is that you are, uh, by gamma scalping, the thing you are doing is I am reducing my P&L variance and I'm paying a cost to do that in the form of transaction costs and slippage. So I am accepting a known cost to reduce my P&L variance. Whether I gamma scalp or not has no bearing on whether what I'm doing is actually profitable or not. It just changes the shape. I think this is, I'm, I'm making a point of this because I think this is like deeply misunderstood. Um, by people that they think that the scalping is the source of the profits. It's not the source of the profits. It's the, it's the, uh, it is just reducing your P and L variance so that you can actually survive. 